digital clones be the next frontier in modern medicine? Digital twins emerged with the need of a personalized treatment. So it's very important to take into account this individual physiology to then find the best solution for, for a patient. I'm Rosé Sánchez and I'm the research director at Neuroelectrics. So digital twins in healthcare are a virtual representation of a patient. So it simulates the anatomy of the patient to be able to predict uh, how a pathology is going to evolve or to find biomarkers that may di help di with the diagnosis of a pathology. Also to predict how a treatment will act on each patient. Sanchez's team is working to replicate arguably one of the most complex structures in the human body, the brain. The brain is very complex and we don't even really understand how it works. So this is the big challenge to develop great science, being able to translate it into a real product or a tangible product or technology, and then being able as well to reach the patients. As part of an EU-funded project called NeuroTwin, Sanchez is not just designing computerized brain models, she's also using them to create tailored, non-invasive brain stimulation treatments for neurological conditions like epilepsy and Alzheimer's disease. To create a digital twin brain, data is collected in the form of imaging and EEG recordings. That data is processed through machine learning, which creates a mathematical model that can replicate a patient's neural network. With the help of cloud computation, the twin might then be used to predict a patient's health trajectory or to create personalized treatments. I foresee the, this digital twin technology in healthcare as a full body neural twin that integrates all these systems that are there. And it will be like a standard way of monitoring everyone's health.